Hello everybody, this is Richard with the NetZoom team, here to talk to you about importing a rack or row of racks into your data center in NetZoom. If you've ever experienced the slow and painful process of manually having to enter assets one by one, you can now avoid that with NetZoom's time-saving array of imports. Asset population that previously took hours or even days can now be accomplished in a fraction of the time, and the imports can run in the background while you continue to work. As an added bonus, you can even configure the grid coordinates for your rack or racks in your import sheet so they import directly into the floor plan so that you can create a beautiful floor plan of racks and other floor devices just like this. So first things first, let's log into our NetZoom server. We're going to enter our URL and we're going to get our login prompt right here. I'm going to enter my NetZoom credentials. And here we are on our home page. Now we're going to navigate over to the Edit Data Center feature and the Data Center menu also under the Data Center tab. But first, we're going to navigate to the site we're going to import into. If you'd like more information on navigating the site menu and managing different sites, please see our video on that subject. So we're going to navigate over here to the incredibly creatively named Richard site. We're going to come over to our Data Center menu under our Data Center tab and to our Edit Data Center feature. Now these imports that we're going to show you here are also possible in staging areas under Change Management, but that's also another topic for another video. Today we're going to go over importing a single rack into an already existing floor plan. If you need to know how to create a floor plan, please see our video on how to do that. So you can see we have our site node selected here. I'm going to go down to row A100 because that's where I want to place my rack and you'll see our floor plan here already created. So the first thing we need to do is come up here to our import button. Now we're going to have a couple of different import options available. What we're looking for is node hierarchy which will allow me to import an excel sheet with either a rack or even a row of racks or other equipment. We're going to click import. We're going to click Browse here, and we're going to come into our workstation. I have my sheet here under Documents, and we're going to pull up our sheet. We have a checkbox here because you can actually import multiple sheets at once. Today we're just going to do this one sheet, and we're going to click Next. Now we have a green check mark here, which indicates that NetZoom has accepted our import sheet. If we had a red X here, it would indicate that the sheet wasn't accepted, and our pass one error column here would indicate why each row wasn't accepted. So we have all of this accepted. This is all correct. We're going to click Import. OK, so our import is finished. We do have the option to generate our log file as a text file here, which will open in another web browser if you'd like a record of all of this from your import. For us, we're just going to hit OK and proceed. It's going to ask us if we want to recalculate. For our demonstration purposes, we're not going to do that, but if you want to recalculate the values of the properties in your rack or row of racks, feel free to click Yes. So we're going to come back here and we're going to close this up. And here's our rack. You can see the front and rear preview images of the rack here. All of our devices are in it with all of that lovely NetZoom shape detail. And here's our rack out here on the floor. Now lastly, we can click the design button and we can move our rack over here into the row and place it nicely where we want it to be. All right, as a final note, we're going to go over the sheet we used to import today. The parent ID and ID fields are used to create a parent-child relationship between the device and its parent, whether its parent is the rack, a parent device, or the location itself. A device's EQ ID is its unique library code that identifies it in NetZoom Shapes library. The name is a friendly name for the rack device or module. The asset ID is a unique identifier within the application for a device that is used in a number of places such as connectivity. Manufacturer and manufacturer product number are unique to the manufacturer but can be edited. 
The mount type refers to how the device is mounted, whether it is a rack mounted on the floor, a device mounted in a rack, or a module mounted within a device. The position refers to the position of the rack or device. For racks on the floor, you would use zero. For any device mounted within a rack rack unit, you would use the number of that rack unit. And for any module mounted within the slot of a device, you would use the slot number on that device. X and Y refer to the X and Y coordinates, which help you place your floor devices on the floor. And the rest of these fields are optional, but you do have the opportunity to populate things like serial number, MAC address, service tag, public and private IPs, and a host of other properties. Properties. And that covers the basics of importing a rack or row of racks into your NetZoom installation. Everything we've done here today to import a single rack can be using a row of racks into NetZoom. Please check out our other videos for more tips on how to use the NetZoom product. And if you're interested in trying out NetZoom in your data center, please visit NetZoom.com to schedule a free demo.